I'm out of footage. Can't ride. So I guess I'll just fix these squeaky ass brakes. The rear brake is provided with a wear indicator which allows you to check the brakes you wear without having to disassemble, disassemble the brake. Rear indicator, wear time. There it is. So you can see there's the indicator. Push on the brake right here. And see where it goes. Looks like I got a lot of brake pad left. Brake lining surface. Front wheel inspection. Refer to front front wheel. Blazed areas remove. Use a coarse sandpaper. Well, the next step. All you can see here. It's off the ground. We're gonna have to take it off, take a look at the brake. That's called an old miner's motorcycle stand. For one, I've got this wrench. I've got this 19 millimeter. On the right side, you're gonna put the 22 millimeter. But I prefer to use this. I know it's not gonna slip, and it's not gonna strip things out. So I have to say, use the closed end wrench. Super easy. All right, get the 22 in there. I'm gonna have to take this off. It's come with my asthma medicine. I'm gonna use them to hold different nuts and bolts. Got the nut off, pull the bolt out. The washer, that's important. It's a chain tensioner. Got the axle out. I'm gonna take the chain off. All right, now we got this wheel off. Gonna need that. All right, if you look at this, I put it down on an old towel so I don't scratch up the sprocket. And this just comes right off. And there's my brake shoes. As you can see, they are glazed. Let's see, I've got rust in here. Brake drum inner surface, rust oil. Use a rag soaked in lacquer. Use an emery cloth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some coarse sandpaper and I'm gonna rough these brake shoes up a little and I still have plenty of shoe left. And then I'm gonna take some emery cloth and get in here and I'm gonna take care of that. The springs, still good. See the difference there? Now, I initially bought these because I assumed I needed to replace them. But if you see, there's still quite a bit of life left in these brakes, which is why we're doing a little restoration instead. Junk in there. I could probably sand this while it's on, but I'm gonna take it off to just avoid getting any of the shavings into here. And then while it's off, I can wipe this down. You can see the 
I'm getting the sides, they're looking roughed up. All right, let's take a look at these. Now you can see how shiny and smooth this one is and how it roughed up this one is they just sanded. All right, I'm gonna finish this one up and then we're gonna put it back on after cleaning this. You can see all this brake dust that's all in here and you'd probably be all right leaving it in there. I mean, if you hadn't taken it off in the first place, it'd still be in there, but you got it off right now, you might as well just clean these up. Looking back in here again, you can see there's rust around the edge here and then there's brake dust in here, both of which are probably contributing to the squealing noise I was hearing in the last few rides. I really wish I had was like a air compressor so I could just like hose it out, but I don't. So anyways, I'm gonna try to get this debris out of here with paper towels as best I can. All right, got most of that off there. Sheet of emery cloth. We got this little piece of emery cloth. I'm actually gonna rip it. Okay, so I got it around the top edge, but now I've got it in better light. You can see there's some more down there. So I'm gonna get in there with the rust, with the emery cloth and get that rest as well. All right, it's all cleaned out. All right, so now we're gonna get this back on. The brake, it just slides right back in. You might need someone to help you. I think what I'm gonna do is get these two by fours and roll it up on that. So I was able to use a one by <coughs> a one by four and a two by four to get it approximately even with here. That should be easy. Actually slides in right here. Easy peasy. I got my axle. Let's put it back on. I'm gonna get this into position and then we can get the chain onto the sprocket. And there we go. And don't worry about tightening this because we're gonna do some chain work after this. So it goes right in there. All right, when you're getting this on, you gotta make sure this brake's lined up with this thing it gets on. So let's see here. There we go. And there we go. Now this needs to get, don't forget the spring, and we're on. Boop. The last thing we need to do is Put this on here. And I'm gonna put it on very tight right now because we're gonna we're gonna snow flurry all of a sudden. Actually maybe I will just put it on tight. Just make sure it's not grabbing. Alright, brakes are working. So we're not on here tight right now. I need you to hold this tight and don't let it move. Yeah? Yeah, just hold it like that. You're good. Thank you for your help. So I've got my torque wrench. The rear wheels needs to be set to around nine meters per kilogram. And there we go, it broke. Now we're on. Well, my wheel's back on. The brakes seem to be working. It was, you know, not very hard. It probably would've been easier to just change it. The buying and replacement brake pads was really cheap or brake shoes. Now, if you don't have one, I would recommend getting a service manual. You can find them for free. The one I had is 87. A little different, won't have the front brake stuff, but you can probably find that online. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you uh, get a little confident, whip off your back brake. If you hear it squeaking or just kind of acting weird, it's a good idea, just take a look. It's not hard, you got a little time on the weekend or after work, just pop it off, take a look. What are you looking at? <laughs> All right. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, I hope I was helpful.